Hey everybody, JB here, and welcome back to my channel. The reason I have summoned you all here today, on not a Friday, is because by sheer happenstance, I actually ended up in Monrovia, California, for the grand opening of the Warhammer store and cafe out there, which is only the second Warhammer store and cafe in the United States. The other one is all the way in Grapevine, Texas. I really just lucked out that I ended up out there, um, and it happened to be kind of the weekend before Father's Day, and I'm going to be working on Father's Day, so we went ahead and turned it into a whole trip. So for those of you who have heard about the way that it went down out there, <laughs> the rumors are no joke. The line was really, really long, wrapped around the block, um, and people just kept arriving. So, like, it ended up being... I mean, we got there at 9 a.m. thinking, okay, maybe, like, half an hour, an hour, at least that's what I thought. Um, the people I was there with actually, I guess, anticipated a little while longer, um, maybe a couple of hour wait to get in and, you know, get what we were looking for and head out. But we arrived at 9 a.m. and we didn't end up back in our hotel, which was about a half an hour drive away, until well after 9 p.m. So it was quite a day of literally just standing <laughs> in the sun with a bunch of other uh, nerds, <laughs> hoping that we could get our hands on some special merch. And lucky for me, I did get my hands on some awesome stuff and uh, the people that I was with are willing to let me share some of the stuff that they had. So without any further ado, let's take a sippy sippy and get started checking out this Warhammer haul. Okay, so uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm wearing one of the shirts that was available for purchase. By the time I got to them, uh, they only had lo uh, extra large, I think, available, or large. Um, and so uh, the very front of the logo here says Warhammer Store and Cafe, Los Angeles. And then my favorite part about it actually is the back. So you can kind of see what's going on back there. It's got uh, the two characters. Uh, one is 40k and one is Age of Sigmar. Some of the other like store specific merch that they had uh, were these awesome mugs. They actually had two different types of mugs available. One was like a little bit more of a standard uh, this one, I think, is 14 ounces, and the other one was 12. And it's just got a nicer little design. And then, because we were standing in line for so long, uh, they actually came out with bags of swag. So I got a lanyard. You guys know I love my lanyards. Um, this cute little pin here, and this uh, exclusive store uh, pin for the store opening which is awesome. This is a lanyard I will never actually use, which is like kind of rare for me because I use all my lanyards. Uh, but this is one I'm not gonna use. Then we went in and we bought stuff. It was almost sundown and we got inside and we took our picture with this like Space Marine Imperial Fists, I think. And, um, and then we got to the good stuff. Not that that wasn't the good stuff, that was also the good stuff, but it was so hot outside, oh my God. So you guys know, from my Twitter, I have been really wanting to get my hands on a Forge World, Forge World Mortarion um, and just haven't. Either the, the online store has been out when I've looked or it's been in stock but I've not really had an excuse to spend that much money. Um, but hey, Father's Day! So um, this is the box with my Forge World Mortarion and I think I'm going to open it on camera. Okay, so here we go. This box. Oh my God. Okay, so we've got our little, I call it an infographic card. It's not quite that though. Um, and then inside, I should have done this with a different camera angle, but we're already here, so we're doing it. You have the sprues, which are set up, uh, kind of coordinated in different containers. I'm not going to take all the sprues out. I don't want to lose anything. You guys know I have ADHD. I set stuff down and it goes missing. Um, I am going to do a video where I show um, 
Morty being put together and painted. What's exciting is I have two Mortys. So I've got Forge World Mortarion, and then you guys know that there's a huge run on Games Workshop Mortarion. Um, and I, I happen to get him. Um, because they like updated the rules and stuff for him. Alright, so check that out. That's like body. Looks like this is the bottom, like the ground where he's gonna be standing. I'm so freaking excited. Okay. Um, I need to get the right paint colors for painting, so the chances are you guys are gonna get a uh, build with me for both of them well before you get a paint with me. So just have a little bit of patience on that. And I have a, a person here with me who is excited to share about some of the things that he got. One of these is actually um, this set of pins. So, well, okay, let's do the front first here. And the back. Um, and so these are the Janice Drake collection pins. Um, so here's the, it's a metal tin, and on the back it says, property of Janice Drake. Yep, so the five pins, oh, and they're all labeled right there that tell you what they are. Oryx, Necrons, Drukhari, Tyranids, and Tau Empire. And they're just really cool. I like them. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? Drukhari. Drukhari. So that's these guys. Aesthetically, I really like the Tau, actually. So because there were multiple of us, uh, even though they had restrictions on one of each item per person, um, we did manage to actually get two sets of dice, which was awesome. Um, so these are the dice. Do you have any commentary on these dudes? I, I love I love Warhammer dice, and they all go so quickly, so it was just exciting to be able to get some. They're really pretty. It's like we had that one's broke. Oh yeah, that's the one I picked up. Ah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Here is one of the pins. And we went, it was Father's Day, so we went with our youngling, and the, the youngling was really excited about space wolves, really wanted a cyber wolf, question mark? A cyber wolf. Um, but they didn't have any, uh, it's like an online order only, so we got a set of these, and I'm not going to open these because this is, this is not mine to open. <laughs> More dice. Alright, so we've got the only two squat dudes available, like, in the entirety of Warhammer, like, all of it. Um, and so I guess, and I learned this, uh, while I was standing in line with the people I was next to, um, the squats, apparently they were, like, this whole, like, group that people were playing up until the third edition. Um, and then all of a sudden they just kind of stopped existing, like, they got written out basically, but without being written out, right, there wasn't any, like, information on what happened to them until a lot later. Like, the Tyranids, right, just came and, like, ate them all. The bags that they had lots of ultramarine things, um, just in general. So we've got these guys, and an interesting one. Um, and then, because we purchased so much, there's one more thing that we purchased uh, that you'll get to see here in a second that I'm, like, pretty excited about and also like, oh my god, <laughs> why did I spend so much money? <laughs> but I'm happy about it. Um, right, so because we purchased things, like, we got free stuff along with that. So one of the things uh, that we got for free uh, was this... Age of Sigmar poster, which I'm pretty excited to put up on my wall. Um, I don't know how to like make it so you can see all of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on my wall and then you guys will be able to see everything. Um, but it's, I really like it, I like the colors on it. Um, the art, just one of the things I'm a huge fan of is the art style for Warhammer. So any of the art, I'm like, yes, gimme, gimme. 
Um, and then we got uh, actually two of these backpacks. I've already started using mine. <laughs> and um, so they had options. You could have the 40K or the H of Sigmar, a, another lanyard, which I am actually using. So it's got Ultramarines and then uh, Necrons on the other side. So um, card sleeves. Just like a huge pack of 40k card sleeves. Um, so I don't know if we actually plan to use these or not. Um, it's still worth keeping, I think. But uh, my brain is like, use them for an art project. I don't know if that's like a great idea or not. But if I do end up using them for an art project, uh, you guys will get to see that video. We've got a Warhammer 40k kill team. More art. Makes me happy. Uh, with Harlequins. And Death Card, which is exciting. And then we have a what? It's for rolling your dice in it, but what's the words? Dice tray. We have a dice tray, which just folds up, and you roll your dice in it. Which actually, with our family, is kind of useful. Now that I think about it, because um, I'm clumsy and Kidlet is t is clumsy, so we end up like throwing the dice under the couch or like across the house accidentally. It's not it's not a terrible idea to like actually try to use that in family game night. Oh, there's another pin. How many pens did we get? Uh, pen, not pin, pen with a stylus. Another pen. I like all the pins here. Yeah. All right, this was the bag that it came in. It's really sturdy actually. And then I have not opened this. So this was part of the free um, and it's, Art prints. It's the store anniversary gift one art prints pack of four. And I haven't opened it, so it's still sealed, and we get to kind of like experience looking at it for the first time together. I'm nervous about it. This is actually the main reason why my friend is here because, um, like, I am still new to Warhammer. Uh, and I'm nervous that I'm not gonna, like, know exactly what's happening in these prints. I'm gonna need, like, somebody to help me explain it. Or I could just show it off and not say anything. It's gorgeous. Tell me what I'm looking at. Good sir, this is the Titan. Fuck yeah. Sorry. Pardon my French YouTube. Heck yeah. Alright. God, this is gorgeous. We need to frame these, though. Yeah, these sure are do. not thumbtack things. Um, okay. So... He's seeing it for the first time, too. <laughs> He's excited. So we have a Titan. He has words. Uh, so it's a Warlord-class Titan. I don't know, I might be screaming into the camera right now. Uh, it's a Warlord Titan, uh, with a princeps kind of looking on as it's in its docking station, or docking bay. That's so pretty. I can't quite read what the Legion is, but it's that's gorgeous. Um, corn. And ultramarines. No. Space wolves? Yeah, space, space wolves. wolves. Nice. I like the colors on this one too. Um, yeah, so like that's a Celestine Prime, I think is what it's called. Um, I don't know who these guys in the front are though. That's pretty cool. They look like some type of like, they almost look like chaos, but they're like warrior monks or something like that. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, are we, yeah, we're Age of Sigmar again. Ooh. I like it a lot. Um, so it's Chaos, do you have any guesses? It's is it corn? corn? Yeah. Is it because red is like, is that kind of like the signature color for that? Yeah, blood for the blood gun. Yeah. Red and brass are kind of corn's colors. Also that symbol in the back, can be like in the middle. X. Um, yeah, with the, all the things, that's corns. So. Oh, that's really cool. I really like this, this giant skull up here. Skulls for the skull throne. Yeah. Yeah, so what I really liked about the, the whole day, really, was that I got to interact with so many nerdy people, and I learned a lot of different stuff. Actually, I did not get to try any of the actual cafe offerings, which is a little bit unfortunate, um, but the barista working there was awesome. 
so nice, um, and relatively accommodating. They really just were like overwhelmed. We, uh, the first day did not end up even trying with the cafe because it was, a lot was going on. Um, but the second day we came back on our way out of town after the beach stopped by and we're like, let's, let's try some, some of the cafe stuff. And obviously, um, I didn't get to try any, but my friend got to try some, so he got the macchiato. Magnus. Magnus macchiato. Uh, and as a barista, I was pleased um, with the way that they put it together. I didn't get to try it because they didn't have a milk substitute that I could have. But that would have been definitely my first choice. Um, and then, obviously, the day before I had been so busy, so they were out of just about everything that I would have been able to have. So um, they ended up making like a a passion fruit and lemonade tea for me, which was still really good. It's very similar, actually, <laughs> to what I drink usually from Starbucks now that I'm like relatively off of like caffeine, which is the dragon fruit, uh, the strawberry, nope, it's the strawberry acai with black tea instead of water and four pumps of raspberry. Really tasty. And they're not likely to be out of this. <laughs> um, and, like I said, yeah, I just got to meet so many nice people, and then the store was staffed with a lot of really good, like, knowledgeable people, and, like, they had been really just taking a beating as workers since open, and they were still like, yep, absolutely, I'll get that for you, and answering questions, and, like, communicating with, with the people in the community as fellow people who are excited about Warhammer, so that was awesome. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to show you from my haul is kind of the big ticket item. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm not even going to try to describe it. Let's just go ahead over there and take a look. Alright, so before anybody gets too excited, um, I say big ticket item. I also know that like a lot of people spend a lot of, a lot more money <laughs> on like models and stuff. My favorite aspects of the hobby are the art the painting, and the books. So that's, that's gonna be a lot of what my channel's about. And so my first, like, big art piece that I got from Warhammer is this piece I'm about to show you, which I got at the Los Angeles store and cafe. And it is Mortarion and the Death Guard. And I actually may or may not have, like, completely rearranged my office, which is just my side of the bedroom um, to highlight this particular piece. So what I love about it, well obviously the colors, um, but just like the attention to detail. They only make a limited number of, of these, so it comes with a certificate of authenticity as well as um, the number that it is. So this is print number 101, which I think is really cool. Sorry, I'm just like zoomed in on Morty. Um, let's go ahead and look at the rest of this scene. I wish that, I mean, this is a 4K camera, right? So it's getting a lot of really high quality in-depth detail, but I doubt that it's doing it any justice, uh, you know, for the in-person. So you've got Morty, you've got the Death Guard, and they're fighting against some Ultramarines, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, like I said, the colors, the attention to detail, really, um, and so this piece is large, if you'd like a scale, I don't really know how to give you a scale, because it's just on the wall, um, you can kind of see the rest of my office here is, is this, so it is larger than my Big Mac computer screen. Which I think is is telling enough. All right, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching my haul video. Get excited for the build with me for both Mortarions. I am pumped to be sharing my exploration of this hobby with you, and I'm grateful for you continuing to watch my channel. If you liked this video, Feel free to hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope tribe, and earn your antlers. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Were you there 
um, did you <laughs> stick it out, you know, for 12 hours in line, or did you head home early if you were there? I'd love to hear your story. All right. Peace out. Hi there. I have a letter cast, also known as JB Speaks, on YouTube here. And I just wanted to let you know that, as always, there is new stuff coming out this Friday at 1600 on my channel. The link is youtube.com forward slash c forward slash JB Speaks. You can also find this content embedded at my website, ilettercast.com. On the first Friday of every month, I do an interview with an indie author for my podcast, Indie Author Connection. On the second Friday of every month, I do a podcast episode for my Grim Dark Book Club where we review a Grim Dark book. <laughs> and on the third Friday of every month, I upload something kind of random. Sometimes it's a build or paint with me, sometimes it's a video game playthrough, and sometimes it's a tea vlog where I just talk to you about my life. Feel free to subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope tribe, and earn your antlers. You get bonus points if you click the notification bell, and win a piece of my soul, and potentially a free book at your doorstep if you also sign up for the mailing list at iLettercast.com.